What's up guys, Josh here, and welcome back to Road to 200 Million Slayer Experience, and of course I figured what better way to do this than to come back to my favorite task, Eret, and uh, there's a good amount to talk about, but um, I'll point out really quickly that I am using overloads for this task, because... Uh, I'm just thinking it's better for space saving as um, it's quite important to manage your space with your summoning potions and all of that jazz so it's quite a bit better than using extremes so yeah before I get that comment um, outside of that a lot has happened in RuneScape and most of it for the best, I'd say. Um, Slayer seems to be a constantly and uh, constantly evolving thing, and I'm always kind of changing up my style, and I really appreciate that from Jagex. It's one of the reasons I never really get bored of Slayer, because there's always a little different incorporation that you can bring into this sort of thing. Uh, a big big thing right now um, you might see is these note papers and holy crap are they useful they have really changed the way I slay in a lot of ways and for a while I even actually did not use a bone crusher here until I just saw my XP rates become absolutely woeful and that did result in me going back to normal but now I do collect a lot more stuff I'm making quite a good amount of money but uh, before we go any further I'll quickly go over the XP rates or XP gains right rather um, so first off 6 million total XP has been gained today uh, and of that 1.6 million of it is magic and one point well, we'll just say 1.5 million of it is Slayer and that is quite strange um, I have had a lot of Necrail tasks today a few Eret tasks and quite a few Mithril Dragon tasks so a lot of that XP is going to strength now and um, of course Constitution is making up a good chunk of the rest of the XP in all of that so, to go over it, uh, as you can see, I'm getting up there with Constitution. Just 16.8 million left until I am 150 million Constitution XP. But of course, I am 34.7 million Strength XP. Uh, 113.5 million Magic XP and 152.5 million Slayer XP and 1.226 billion overall XP that's always interesting to see how quickly that's gone up it really just feels like very recently where I just got 1 bill overall XP and yeah it's just passed so quickly um, at last check I believe I am rank 48 in Slayer I might be 47 or 46 by the time this video gets uploaded and that is um, a very interesting sort of spot for me to be right now um, I don't think I can really even possibly get in the double digits for most skills anymore uh, even when I got 200 mil attack I was rank 117 and I'm currently ranked 119 uh, just because of people coming back and pushing me back in the scores and you know that's all fine but it does suck in a way that no matter how much I train it or how efficiently I go at it I kinda just have to take a place before these other people who have um, really got there first in a lot of ways I suppose but you know, I'm kind of happy that I've actually managed to get to the second page of a skill, that being Slayer. And not many people can say that about uh, about their time with RuneScape, so 
I'm quite happy with that. Uh, in other news with Slayer, um, I'm really hoping that this new monster that will come out with this new Grandmaster quest, I believe next week, will be a Slayer monster, and that that will be good XP rates, obviously, and, you know, I know very little about it, but I think it's always good when there's any sort of Slayer monster, and if there's a higher requirement, all the better. Um, I think I'm getting a bit far removed from a lot of popular opinions with Slayer requirements and everything, because by this point, I must have, what, 14 times 90, 14, 14 times 99? I know that's probably a bit too much, but, um, yeah, it's quite cool to be over 75% done with Slayer. Uh, kind of boggles my mind to think of how quickly it's gone and how much I've enjoyed it, but the unfortunate thing is with Slayer, I seem to have slowed down just a tad. Um, this kind of ref is reflecting in my performance in the weekly and monthly Slayer games. Uh, I think I have a few mil less per week usually and I'm not always coming first on the monthly and weeklies anymore and you know, that's a bit that's a bit of a shame. Like on the dailies I would usually be first but quite often I would get beaten out, but I'd always be first on weekly and monthly, but some people are just a bit more keen on it at the moment than I am, it seems, and I want to give a big shout-out to this guy, Hugh Grant, real quick. Um, he is one of my competitors, and he has gone very, very hard at it, and he's doing a fantastic job. Of course, he's a Kiwi, and a Kiwis and Australians always like to compete as much as we can, so I wish him luck on his 200 mil Slayer journey. Um, before I say much more, I just want to quickly say a big thank you to my friend Daniel, or Insomniac, who um, made the intro and outro of this video, and I frankly absolutely love it, especially that Slayer helm, which... I didn't even ask him for that, and he delivered so well on it, so big, big thank you to you, Dan. And, um, of course, I recently made a new clan. Uh, it's called Exponential, and uh, it's a very small clan at the moment, of course. I believe we have 13 members. Um, it's only a few days old, and... You know, I've, I think it'll go places, especially because the people in it thus far are all very, very nice people, very, very active, and um, I think that's a good basis for the clan to expand. So if you're watching this video and you are in need of a clan or you want to ask me anything, um, I always have my chat on and I'm always keen to answer any questions or respond to any comments that you might have. Uh, I hope to try to make a more regular upload schedule, but I keep saying that and it just kind of doesn't happen, unfortunately. But regardless, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, now I'll probably just end it here and say have a very nice day and yeah, goodbye.